Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and we are about a week away from the official launch of DLC 2 The War Machine for Call of Duty World War 2. Xbox players, you guys are gonna have to wait about a month for the release, but for the PlayStation 4, it is gonna be up for grabs. Now, as I'm recording this video, you are able to preload the DLC 2 for the PlayStation 4, and all you have to do is go onto the Call of Duty World War 2 application, and then scroll down until you see PlayStation Store, and then on the left-hand side, select it, and then on the very first add-on it should say DLC to the war machine and then make sure you click on it and then select pre-order if you own the season pass it's gonna be for free and then of course select proceed to check out and there you go the DLC should start downloading once after you do that it's gonna be coming in at 5.6 gigs not too big not too large uh, but yeah that's what it's gonna be like I'm pretty sure if you are in the UK then you might be able to download but don't quote me on it try for yourself and tell me down below in the comments because sometimes the pre downloads are blocked for some some countries but again for the UK I've seen a few people say it's working not sure about everywhere else though but if it does work for you or even if it doesn't then please tell me down below in the comments if it does work for you and where you are located at now that's out of the way guys I do want to discuss a little bit about what's to come because if you didn't know within this update that's coming on Tuesday the game is gonna be completely different it's almost an entirely new game practically because the division system is getting completely reworked you can sprint for as long as you want to and then of course primed is getting taken out of the game so a lot of big big changes are coming but I guess this game is kind of used to change because it, even though it's a few months old we've really seen a lot of change happen it, it really did all start with Condry and Glenn leaving Sledgehammer games which I'm still shocked that happened uh, but I guess it was for the better because there has been some pretty good changes that has came since they've left not gonna say that they were hindering the game and these changes from happening uh, but just the overall feedback between players and developers has been pretty Pretty good recently so uh, the new guy Aaron Halen he, he's done some really good things and I'm pretty happy with what he's done so far the gameplay you're watching right now might be the last time I play on the old version of World War 2 and if you play today or even if you are playing right now as you're watching this just try to soak it in because it's gonna be completely different like I said and then compare your experience from now and then a few months back with tomorrow because like I said your views might change and the game is gonna feel completely different if you're not too big of a fan of World War 2 to maybe try hopping on the game and then like I said compare your, your views and your games. Also one last thing I'd like to mention guys there might be a new event teaser coming either on Monday or possibly on Tuesday when the DLC goes live because Sledgehammer has been teasing this kind of stuff uh, over on Twitter but like I said I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna happen but judging from the last DLC there was the resistance event of course maybe for this DLC there will be one but I don't know like I said don't quote me on it uh, but I really really do hope so that would be pretty pretty awesome it kind of would be like the little cherry on top of this big update and then of course the dlc rolling out so guys tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments and also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you later